All right, hello again, ladies and gents, and welcome back to some more L.A. Noir. Oh yeah, as we begin our second Vice DLC case, Guy The Naked City. Up of yours anyway? Say all and you start introducing us as Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. <laughs> Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Why like would that worry not, you, Cole? Huh? We're a dysfunctional couple now. Huh? You People don't roll that way. Me with you on my arm, same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. Oh, really? I really hope you're joking, Roy. Is that what you're into, Roy? Does that happen to you I a lot? Do you like it? Hmm? Okay, I get it. You want to be quiet about it? I get it. I get it. Anyway, um, this is actually my second time recording this because um, oh, I went the completely wrong way. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Um, it's actually my second time recording this. I recorded about two minutes of this beforehand, uh, and then I realized I didn't actually have my microphone and everything set, uh, on DX Tori, so... Wah, wah. Whatever, just two minutes, though. If it, if it was, like, a whole recording, I'd be, like, really pissed off. <laughs> it's a good thing I... It's a good thing I, I remembered about that. We recovered oh, the shit. morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for, so what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case uh -huh. opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Are you going to tell me? <laughs> I'm sure you will. The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little uh. girl. <laughs> Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. I see. So my partner Roy looks at it as looks at it as numbers, a numbers game. You know, it's not it's not likely to happen, so why bother worrying about it when it does, right? I get it. The I get it, Roy. Pole, use it. Shut up, Roy. Hold on. I'm on something here. I get it, Roy. I get it. But I don't think Cole agrees with you. Although he's being kind of silent about it now. Because that's the way these dynamics work sometimes. Especially when it's detective partners. Second floor. Apartment six. Speaking of which, I'm... Back. I wonder what, um... Thanks. I don't know. I'm curious what, um... What's that show called? X-Files. I'm curious what X-Files is like with its two detective character dynamics. I... I hear one of them is like a skeptic, and then one of them is kind of like more status quo. So I'm kind of curious about that. I never watched the show, but I've always kind of wanted to, so hopefully that will happen eventually. Maybe even soon, now that I mention it. Oh, hey! You made homicide. That I did. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? Or can we get on with this? Oh, Glad wow. Even him. Even that douche. Years old fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers that. likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. <laughs> Good old Here. Rusty. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> we got two. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. My most sensible partner was my first one. They just get stupider as they go along. Actually, no, Rusty was probably the stupidest, but... Oh shit. Uh, all right. Um. Um. I just want to make sure. One second. Okay, I'm back. I was just making sure that it was indeed recording because I never restarted the story when I changed the settings. So. Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. <laughs> If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Oh. Notice anything about our Vic? No foam. Yeah, I took a look. Be my guest. Right? No foam? <laughs> I think we can already tell Take a that. Take look at her head and neck. The neck is bruised pretty badly. Mm -hmm. Which you wouldn't get from just drowning, so... I guess. So, yeah. Not like that. Alright. And also the arms here, I can tell. 
Ooh, my. Love bites. What? Here we go, come on. Bruising on the forearms, and these look like bite marks. Very good. <laughs> yeah, hey, I got it. Love bites. Sweet. I was just saying that for fun, but I guess I'm right. Oh. A very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. The eyes are a classic sign oh. of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. And spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and hmm. see if you can find the Sorettes. It would make my theory. The morphine would have been very quick. And there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Sorettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Well, who says they weren't junkies? Is it her in these photos? She's something else. <laughs> yes. I literally was. Alright, let's take a look at this brush. I think, there's a, I think there's something on to this brush here. This, this is a new lead for us. Yes, Cole, be very optimistic. I think I think this is something to be very optimistic about. I think that's a very good lead here. We got... Okay, yeah, I just forget about that. I'm an idiot. What were you guys talking about? <laughs> wow, how convincing you are. <laughs> Why am I not talking to them? I mean, seriously. <laughs> uh, oh, groceries, let's take a look at that. Oh, no, not that. I want the groceries. I want to see what's inside it. Maybe that will tell us something. I can see bananas, vegetables, anything that's green is a vegetable. Uh, and other unrecognizable shit. Yeah, okay, anyway. <laughs> Bye. <gasps> Ironing. Oh my god. Doesn't look like anything. I figured it out. I think this iron was somehow used in the killing. I'm not sure how yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna base my whole investigation on that. I'm gonna work the evidence to that conclusion. God damn it, I will. Oh. Oh my. Let's look at this all this stuff. It's all these photos. Could have been a modeling assignment. I guess it could have been. Design. It's place to start. Hollywood Boulevard. I'm wa I'm wanking. I'm wonking. I'm wonking. I'm waking. I'm. I don't know. I'm. I'm. Oh, I'm working. Oh, first I, said, I thought I said wanking. <laughs> I'm waking Tuesday <laughs> to 11 to 4 p.m. That's a long time to be doing that. Uh, I am. I'm working Tuesday, 11 to 4 p.m. Hmm. Can come keep me company. <laughs> ask John. Ask for Miss Miss Randall. Well, I guess it could actually work either way. Could have been working or wanking. <laughs> Both words could have worked in that context. This is all mm. top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. I guess it does. Let's take a look. <gasps> Nothing. Oh my god. That's a sign. I I know what's going on here. Something very suspicious. Beautiful girl. Don't work. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. <gasps> oh my god, it's empty again. It just keeps adding up. It just keeps adding up. I don't like this. I don't like the look of this. This is very suspicious to me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie about it. Like, guys, I'm not even gonna lie to you about this. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this, what's going on right now. This is very weird to me. Can't look at that. Hey, how's it going? Do you guys have an opinion? 
Hey, don't move away from me. Come on, Phelps. Even Roy looks like he's working. Get on with it. Wow. So much for a reunion. Thanks for that welcome back, jackass. Back to work, Phelps. I don't like the way this broad bought it. I want to get the guys responsible. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. Can we just be a little bit more relaxed? You know, this is this is a, this is a nice environment. This is a safe, friendly environment. We're all we're all working for the same guy here. You know, we're all detectives. We all have the same goals in mind, and I think we should just make we should just keep that in mind. You know, we should just we should just you know keep focus on that because if we don't, then you know we lose our way. We lose ourselves in the process. We if if we start losing who we are, then what are we really? Who are we really? We're just another another embodiment of 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 the same entity, you know? And that's not what we want to be. We want to be ourselves. And so we have to be ourselves together. And that's how we do this thing. That's how we work. That's how we operate. I haven't got time to jaw, Cole. The captain wants me to make this case. Okay, I see my words are falling on deaf ears here. How about you? I'll Do you have anything to intelligent to say? For now, follow up on the narco angle. <sighs> all right, I guess I have to do all the fucking work again. Whatever. Fine, it's just me, okay? I'm better than all of you. Shut the fuck up. Fuck all of you. You suck. Get the fuck out of here. Stupid assholes. Fucking cunts. All right. Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. Haskell and Shaw. Seville wrote... Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, maybe she was very... Actually, this looks male. This looks male. So... But maybe, maybe, maybe she was a... Maybe she was cross-dressing... Cross uh... Cross-dressing... Old-fashioned, you know? Maybe that's what she was. Who knows? Can't make assumptions, Cole. Ooh. Looks like barbiturates. Cool. Thanks. Wow, that was amazing insight. Barbiturates. What else is rattling around in this thing? Oh. Good question. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, you did that so easily. <laughs> we should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Do you really think it'd be that obvious? Well, who knows, maybe it is. As we know, not everyone is the brightest in their ways. And I am the darkest. What are you doing? You were just in here, idiot. God, did you, did you run out of work to do so? You know, you shouldn't pretend that you're still working. Uh, I'm Detective Phelps. It. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. Oh, I know. I feel like there's something I should be everyone's doing, a dick to me. I should call. I know everyone's a dick to me. I'm just really shocked about that too. Who needs to be notified? They don't. They I'm better than. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Oh. Well, actually, that's the thing, really, is that I, I I was trying not to be better than I, them, I but know. they just wouldn't accept it, so I have no choice now. The detectives, ma'am. They can try and get in contact. Yeah, now shut the fuck up and, and answer my questions, bitch. All right, victim state of mind. Was Miss Randall depressed? About Tell me how she was. What she was thinking. No more than normal. Mmm, you seem like you're hiding something there. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Fashion modeling. Uh. Little pills. Well, let's do this. What are you hiding here, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julie was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, really? You don't, huh? Well, what about these sleeping pills, huh? 
Sleeping pills prescribed for troubled sleep and depression. Or amphetamines. Let's let's try this. Oh, whoops. That's right. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. Actually, they're... The pillbox. The things she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Always do clothes and jewelry. She lived like a movie star. A princess. Well, she was a model. I guess that's pretty close. Does modeling <laughs> really pay that well? Apparently it does. Oh, hold on. You'd be surprised, I guess. Alright, tell me about her life. Tell me about her personal life. When did she shit? When did she sleep? When did she pee? When did she... Uh... Take the dog out to shit? You know, all that stuff. Tell me. I can't stand around here all day waiting for you. Her face beneath the water? I, I need to do something. Uh, she's not dead anymore, idiot. She's... I mean, she's not alive anymore, idiot. She's dead. All day waiting for you. She's dead. Her face beneath the water? No, it's not beneath the water. She's I, I dead. Need to do something. She was out of the water now. What the? What kind of reality do you live in? She's dead, you idiot. Oh my god, you're stupid. Why don't I even bother asking you questions? You're clearly unreliable. You're crazy. You stupid, mentally psychotic fuck. God damn it. Did Miss Randall have any <laughs> friends? Is it? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Oh really? And yet you figured so much out about her. Uh-huh. Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. Yeah. I not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. <laughs> Back to the proof thing again. Oh, you can't prove it. Prove it, huh? Prove it. That's all I'm going to say is prove it. All right. Um, well, here. Um, uh, what should I say? What should I say? Uh, the men smoking. That might. That's probably the the better payoff here because, I mean, so what if we have analysis, trace evidence of two guys? I mean, she doesn't necessarily. Doesn't necessarily. That will necessarily, I think, implicate her or give her, or you know, um, dissuade her from her lie. I think. I mentioning the clothing that's clearly there would be yeah, her here face go. beneath the water I, I need to do something oh my god you're ruining this stop stalling it who owns the smoking jacket I wouldn't like to tell tales you understand but that's mr. Henderson's an older man very distinguished looking how he seemed very much in love with her sounds like he's dressing just like an old man according to Cole sorry, <laughs> I, I don't know he said he lives in San Francisco Wow it's going quite a ways then. San Francisco's like way up there. From this shithole. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. <laughs> Call me officer. Oh look, even Cole's like he's just like, nah, dude, if you if you go true from this one, I'm 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 out of this case, okay? I'm not working with you anymore, man. You're not my player. Uh I have a feeling this is gonna be a doubt one though, because I don't see what evidence there would be that it would be bad, per se. Let's try a lie, though, just see. You're hiding something, Mrs. Reynoldson. There's something about Julia's past that you don't want to tell me. And how do you come to that conclusion, young man? I don't know, honestly. What makes you think I know anything about her past? Well, you're her maid or whatever the hell, right? Let's see. Uh, modeling job. She was. She had a modeling job. You must have. You must. Have, you you must have known about that because of her photo here. Even though and you actually mentioned it before, but you've seen her photo, so you must know about her past because you've seen photos of her past. That's right. I got you. Got you dead in arms, or dead to rights. Here we go. You figured it out. Um. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with doubt here. Looks like I was mistaken. Did the doubt? Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. Damn. She wanted so it she all. had bipolar. She it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. I guess not. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement, and then you can go home. Hey, maybe you can inherit off this now. As long as she wrote you in the will. 
Or if she has no one else in the family. You know, you might have a shot. I don't know. There's always a bright side to it. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? Yeah, idiots. Do something for once. Don't just let me do it. You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely go back. gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a gal away. <laughs> of course you are. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. <laughs> uh, let's... Oh, look, you're analyzing the stuff I already analyzed. Good job, idiot. I'm stumped. No, 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 hold on. No, no, I don't, I don't care what you think. You're an idiot. I already know better than you. Theory, you go ahead. I'm not getting my hands dirty. <laughs> but you're still gonna go along with me. All right, cool. Hey. Back to work, Phelps. I don't like the way this broad bought it. I want to get the guys responsible. All right, cool. Well, at least you're, at least you're somewhat smart. Come yeah. on, Phelps. Even Roy looks like he's working. Get on with no, it. No, he's not. It looks like he's bumping into people like an idiot, and then he's also following me around. <laughs> he's doing exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> uh. God, freaking idiots. Wait, is this... No, I went through here. Hey, how's it going? What's up, uh... What's up? What's up, Michael Corleone? I haven't seen much, Detective. Suit's waiting upstairs to give you the story. I w I've already been up there. Clearly, you're not paying attention. Also, where the hell's my partner? Partner, what the hell are you doing? Oh my god, where are you jacking off over there? Ah, damn it. Partner. No, 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 I want to get in the car. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna do this to me? Go away. God damn you, idiot. Stupid game. Uh, oh. You still have something to do there? Uh, whatever. I'm I think it's done. Uh, should we go here first? Up market, ladies' clothing boutique. I suppose it's the first thing. I don't know, I haven't done this one in a while. That's why I don't remember about it. I didn't even remember that interrogation and so on. So, well, not that well, anyway. Um, yeah. Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. Oh, God, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, move out of the way, jackass. Your license should be Bukowski, unrevoked. Galloway, How about that? Quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They're good police. How would you know? Wait. You promoted so fast, you barely had time to learn the names. Let me Wait a minute. You're in. calling Roy? Bukowski's I mean Rusty? Over. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. Really? They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? <laughs> Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to Except it. Except he's an idiot. You're a terrier, Phelps. And that's what I need. I'm kind of confused. Old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing up his lunch. Why is Cole kind of kissing... I mean, I can kind of understand Bukowski, but like... Rusty was kind of just proven to be like a drunk, lazy idiot. Who never really did anything. I just wanted me to do everything. I mean, yeah, he's been there for a while, but he's not really showing it. He doesn't really show it <laughs> anymore, at least. So, I don't know. Kind of sucked, honestly. He didn't even help me fight the guy at the end. <sighs> but whatever. I understand, Cole. You gotta, gotta be kind of, you know objective and get on Roy's ass a little bit because Roy's kind of excited is also an idiot but you know I don't know I just I'm a little bit surprised he was kissing Rusty's ass so much because I mean I don't know I wish he said something substantial there because maybe then I would understand a little bit more because Rusty was oh, I didn't really do anything he just had me do everything for fuck's sake that's pretty much the reason we did any. That's the reason we accomplished anything for the whole time. Well, hello. 
What can I help you with today? Um, I'm gonna go over here. You can't help me with anything. Then but let me go speak to your manager. Lady, I'm gonna speak to your manager. Where's your manager? I'm gonna speak to your manager. Hey! Manager! Manager! Do you understand? You read? Do you listen? LAPD, ma'am. Wait, I didn't come in from I there. I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. Uh, maybe. We're making some inquiries about yes. Julia Randall. You Does did. she work here? No, I, I don't know. had to let her go. What is wrong? What is right? I don't know. She was found dead this morning. Hmm. Wow, you have quite a composure for what I just said. Isn't that a little bit suspicious, isn't it? With your high-flung ripstick there. Yeah, I see that. If you don't get a move on, young man, people will start to think that you've lost your mind. <laughs> I already think you have. If you don't get a move on, young Whoa, man, okay. people will start to think that you've lost your mind. Says the person who literally just said the same thing twice. Excellent. How long had Julie worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. That didn't really answer my question. H how long did she work in... What? Hold on. How long had Julie worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Yeah, but how long is that? You didn't... You didn't give me how long. I feel like it wants me to do truth, but, like, she really didn't answer the question. <laughs> Just go lie and see what happens. What a shock to someone normally is when told about a murder. Oh, that's true. Is there something about Julia you want to tell me? You're accusing me of lying? How dare you? What basis <laughs> do you have for this kind of accusation? <laughs> well, you, you you did the whole proof thing, but you said it in a different in a, in a in a different way, in a unique way, I guess. So I'll give you that. <laughs> Might actually be a bit more believable that way, honestly. Um. Uh. We don't really have anything here, as far as lie goes. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. <laughs> I guess truth. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. Oh. The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. Oh, really? Why weren't you happy? Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Hmm. Heather, I'm suspicious of your motives, LAPD. officer. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. And He's a dick. You worked with Julia Randall, know. Miss Swanson. <laughs> yes. Julia Look at him looking back there. Here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. Really? That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. Very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? Cole, you're getting a little bit fishy here. <laughs> I think Roy's on to me. He's like, eh, Cole, you sly dog. Some I know what you're pearl, doing. Swanson would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. <laughs> she looks guilty now. <laughs> hmm. Relationship with what was the relationship with the victim that you're not actually aware of that she's a victim of anything yet? How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance Henry Arnett. Okay, that seems believable enough. Henry is your beau. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. <laughs> Henry <laughs> has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. Oh, really? That's cool. It's very interesting. It's very neat. Thanks for that. Thanks for the information. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? She seems genuinely unknowing. Uh, let's just see what lie does. Julia was kept by this Henderson character. Apartment, clothes, and 
Julie. Was she a call girl? <laughs> How would I know? What evidence is there that says that Julia is a prostitute? Uh, not really anything. Not really anything. So that she's a model. I think that goes hand in hand. <laughs> uh, no, but not not really anything. Although they both had rings. They both had really pricey rings. Hmm. Of a similar nature. Which doesn't say anything about the prostitution angle, but, you know, I'm just thinking aloud here. I'm just thinking ahead, honestly. I think in some way you were an unwilling... Well, actually, you were more like a... You're more like a byproduct of all this, or I don't know, sunshine. You're off the hook. For now. Unbeknownst by product, whatever. Anyway, I don't know the words. I don't care. Um, okay, you, now you look really unconcerned. Let me, just, let me just let me just get that out Henderson of there. Engaged? Who's he? There we go. Now we're back to that neutral face. That it must be truth. She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. Hmm. Interesting. That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiancé to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. Oh. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. <gasps> oh, right. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. Why do we s negate from that? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. Well, you know, that life can be taken away in an instant. You should know that. What? Wait, is it closed? What? Why is it closed now? What? Oh, no, it's not closed. It just won't let me in. Oh, very, very nice. Hi. Uh, you're gonna lock me out now. Okay, I see how it is. I'll show you what I think about that. In just a second. Ha, ha, ha.